Today we're going to be looking at a $30,000 that's sold online and some other pennies that are worth money. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. If you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin and currency videos here on the channel. We are uploading every single day. So as always, let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off first with the famous 1922 wheat cent. Now this penny here is missing the D mint mark. In 1922, they only produced these pennies with the Denver mint mark, the D mint mark. So this coin here is in really rough condition as you can see here in the images. It is graded and authenticated by PCGS at an AU50. The coin grading scale goes up to 70. This is at a 50. It also has the strong reverse, so there's going to be different uh, examples you can look for in 1922 with the weak reverse and a strong reverse. And this coin ended up selling at auction for over $2,800, nearly a $3,000 coin because it's missing that D mint mark. So always look for that on your 1922 wheat pennies if you come across them and maybe a collection that your parent or grandparent gave you or uh, even uh, in coin rolls from the bank. You never know, you might get lucky one day. Now here is a 1943, what's supposed to be a 1943 steel penny. However, this is the wheat cent design, Lincoln penny design here, that was struck onto a silver 10 cent planchet, so a silver dime. Now in 1943, they were producing mercury dimes. So this would be a mercury dime planchet that this penny design was struck onto. So it was actually supposed to be steel, however it's onto a silver dime planchet. This coin sold for over $10,000, graded by PCGS at an XF40. Now here's a 1943, again, this is supposed to be a steel planchet. Now it does look very similar to a steel scent, uh, you know, that uh, has been circulated over time and things like that, right? But this is actually a mint error. So this was struck onto a uh, Caraco 25 uh, cent coin, basically. So here's an example of what that coin looks like. This was struck onto one of these coin planchets. It weighs 3.6 grams. And this coin graded by NGC at a mint state 61 ended up selling for over $31,000 at auction. Just an amazing coin, you know, maybe a lot of people wouldn't think much about this. They would think, oh, well, it's just like a, a steel penny that's kind of, uh, you know, been environmental damaged over time. It's got darker as a result, but in reality, the coin design was actually struck onto a foreign planchet, and that is why it is super valuable. Now here is a 1966 Lincoln cent. This coin here has a die break. You'll see that extra metal there also referred to as a cud there on the rim of the coin. This penny ended up selling for around $95 at auction, graded by Annex at a Mint State 64 red brown. Now here is a 1969S Lincoln cent that has been struck off center. Very nice off center here. This coin graded by PCGS at a Mint State 64 red brown, sold for over $285 at auction. Now your pennies will either grade at a brown, red brown, or red, red being the best of course. So over $285 for that coin. Here is a 1970 Lincoln cent. Now this is a little bit different. So this is a 1970 Lincoln cent design struck onto a 10 cent planchet. So I know we already looked at one from 1943, but this is uh, different because it's a 1970 that's supposed to be, you know, a copper penny, uh, you know, not a steel penny like the 1943. And this is also not struck onto a silver 10 cent planchet. This is struck onto a modern uh, clad 10 cent planchet. Uh, so in 1970, of course, those dimes are not silver, they're clad and that's what this is struck onto. This coin ended up selling for over $800 at auction, graded by NGC at a Mint State 63. Now here is another cud, or also known as a die break. This is graded by Annex at a Mint State 64 red brown. This penny from 1977 ended up selling for a little over $50 at auction. So you know you're not making a fortune on something like this after you pay to have the coin graded. Uh, of course, you see that extra metal there on the word trust. Now, here is a 1979, very crazy mint error here. Now, this is pretty extreme. This is a 1979 Lincoln cent that has been double struck, and both of those strikes are off center. Graded by NGC, and this coin ended up selling for over $2,000 at auction. Unbelievable mint error there. 
Now here is another CUD. This is taking place on a more modern coin, 1984 Lincoln cent. It's covering up half the phrase in God we trust there. And this coin sold at auction for around $30. So, you know, depending on the condition, uh, the date, how large the cut is, and things like that will determine the value of the coin. This coin has corrosion to it, uh, so, you know, it's not in the best condition. On the reverse, you'll see it faded out there on the word cent on the opposite side of that die break. So, around 30 bucks for that coin. Now here is a 1986 estimate mark. This is going to be the proof penny. So this is what you will see in your 1986 proof sets, uh, proof coin sets. And this coin has a copper plating streak, which we can see there going all the way through almost Lincoln's shoulder there. Uh, so this penny ended up selling at auction for over $310, just graded at a proof 62 deep cameo. Now here's a 1995, an even more modern penny here, uh, the D mint mark, a 1995 D Lincoln cent that is struck on an unplated planchet. So not struck on a foreign planchet, not struck on a dime planchet, it's actually struck on an unplated planchet and it only weighs 2.4 grams. Uh, this coin ended up selling at auction for a little over $200 graded by NGC at a mint state 65. Now here's a 1998 Lincoln cent that was struck onto a foreign planchet. It only weighs 1.68 grams. So this penny is supposed to weigh 2.5 grams, so definitely always weigh your pennies. As you can see, the design of this coin is being cut off as well. It is graded by NGC at a nice mint state 67 red grade, and this penny ended up selling for over $190 because of that mint error, and of course because of its condition slash grade. Now here is a 2001 Lincoln cent that has been broad struck, graded by NGC as well. Of course, we'll see that around the rim of the coin. The penny only sold for around $45, so you're not gonna be making any profit on something like this. Uh, you know, had it been on a different date or something, you know, that could change the value, of course, or even having a higher grade can change the value. So around 45 bucks for that penny. Now here is a no dated Lincoln cent. Now this coin here has the obverse struck through a cap die. So here on the reverse, it looks very normal. Here on the obverse is where we see that mint error taking place. And that's why this penny sold for around $100 at auction. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.